Hi everyone, my name is Karen Tamir and I'm here for Artist Live creating a mixed media canvas, 6x12 canvas. It's the one I have here. It has something I've been using lately a lot, which is a light bulb, which you can see right here. And it's just really fun to make and I'll show you all the textures I put on it because it was just really fun to make. Okay, I'm going to just like change everything and turn your guys around. Oh, hi Terry. Okay, so, oops. Oh, I think it's gonna go, it's supposed to go the other way. So, sorry, guys. Uh huh, let's see. I need to get the height on this one because it's a, it's a long canvas. Sorry, until I get it all ready. Okay, so. No, I think I can bring it down. Sorry, my screen was not proper. Why is it crooked? Can you guys see? Okay. Hello. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my camera today. Okay, here we go. Now we have it straight. Okay. Straight. So the first thing I did, I took a 6x12 canvas. You can get this basically anywhere. And... Um, I got one actually. This was done for the Flying Unicorn in their May kit, I think, a May or April kit. And I got it in the kit and then I ended up buying another one. And I just want to say the first step I did, you see the texture on it? So I added clear texture paste. I don't know if you can see it. It's not exactly clear. It doesn't dry so clear. It dries kind of yellowish. I don't know why, with a tinge of like cream. But I just wanted to do this step in advance and have it dried because I was really worried that my that my um, canvas won't dry in time. So I did this, and then I'm going to now I'm going to cover it with black gesso. And the reason why I why I do this is that it really brings all the cracks out. So it's nice to put the black gesso, and it gives it a good coat. But it also lets you uh, cover all the cracks, and they'll just basically show from underneath. So I'm going to just basically apply the black gesso. Oh, I'm sorry, and I forgot to say the clear gesso I used, clear texture paste, it's this one. This is the one I used from Prima, from Finabair, and this is the Art Basics Heavy Gesso, okay? So just so you know. Well, so while I'm painting, I can look at the. And you want to give it a nice coat. You don't have to be exact, but just you want to cover the whole canvas, even on the side, and we'll let it dry. Not too thick of a coat, just because. Just because if you do that, it could. Um, how do you call this? It will take a long time to dry, and I really don't want it. Sorry, I stopped talking for a second because um, I heard some noise at the bottom and I really hope the dog didn't get out of his cage. <laughs> Not cage, sorry, get out of the kitchen. We put him, we close the gates in the kitchen and sometimes he, our puppy gets out and I don't need, cannot have him wander around. He doesn't know how to go up or down the stairs yet so I'm really worried he will hurt himself or something. <laughs> I hope he's there. I just heard some whining and I just thought maybe it's him. But I don't know. Just, okay. Anyway, so I'm painting the edges. Oh, hi, Barbara. Thanks for coming. I'm painting the edges too, just so you. Just so it's all covered. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let this dry for a second. I'm going to use my heat gun to let it dry. Just need to do the last side. Okay, so this is how it's going to dry. Wait, once I let it all dry, you'll see the cracks coming through. Let me dry it nap now and look at the chat in the meantime. Okay. 
Thanks for sharing, Pat, Rika. I just love the cracks. It makes it look so nice. Janelle, you know your 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 list is pretty long, which is nice. <laughs> okay, now look how quick it dries. It's just really nice that it dries so quickly. Now I want to say something. I know I made this this layout. I mean this canvas I made, and I used like oranges and yellows and um, and gold. I am going to make this one a little bit different. I don't want two canvases exactly the same. And instead of using the um, the gold paint, I'm going to use silvers and blues. Okay, so I think it's just nice to do it a little bit different. The second thing, well now it's dry, so I'm gonna add some texture. This is a, a tattered um, tattered grid stencil from 13 Arts um, that we got in one of the flying unicorn kits, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture using the graphite texture paste. In my other one, in this one, I actually use a shimmers. If you I don't know if you can see it, it's over here. This is like the grid right there. I use shimmers textures, but uh, in this one because I'm doing the I'm not doing browns and golds. I'm going to use the black graphite texture paste, and I will I will put. I mean, my blog has the original um, materials for this one, but I'm going to put this one. I'm going to post this one too in my on my blog and post the the new the new materials. Okay, now I want to create some texture going down with this. So, yes, you have that stencil. Anybody who ordered from Flying Unicorn should have that stencil. There we go. Oh, and it makes a lot of noise. I hope you guys don't mind. It's a very, it's like nail scratching. Sorry. guys hear it <laughs> it's perfect it's six by six and it fits the width of the um, you see how cool that looks and wait till it actually dries and then I'm going to put the other side too and just make the similar texture on the other side I mean you might not even see that much of it just because might be hidden with all the goodies that we're going to put on top. Like nails on a chalkboard, exactly. That's exactly what it feels like. Okay, so there it is, the texture. I'm just going to clean my stencil a little bit. The only thing is that when you're actually using it, you don't feel like it's like it doesn't bother you. I think it's because you guys are watching that the sound is like stronger. And I'm doing it. I guess I'm having fun, so I don't really like uh, notice that. Okay. I just want to give it a good clean. Okay, because I don't want to waste any. Look, look how much I was able to get back in. So it's nice that you you need a lot to put in, but then you can use it later for. Okay, and now I'm just going to clean my stencil quickly so I don't have all this mess. I think you have, as you should have, if you ordered a flying unicorn kit, you should have this stencil. No, I don't know. I don't know if it came in which, which part of the kit did it come in because it was the one with the 13 arts collections in them, the one that Jalissa um, designed. Okay, so I'm pretty much clean and I'm just going to give it a quick dry. I just like the grid stencil, it's really nice. Yeah, there's so many products that we want and it's just really nice to be able to every once in a while just use them. Okay, 
I want to dry this first, okay? Yeah, I think you have it too. I really think you do, Shannon. This one will take a little while to dry, so let me just give it a dry. I wanted to make sure that it doesn't smear when I add my next layer. And I'll show you the I show I'll show you the crackles from close up. It's just really nice to see. Oh, I wish I had a sink in my craft room. I always have to walk into my son's bathroom or my daughter's bathroom and clean everything there. That's great, Barbara. So wet. Just want to show it to you while I'm drying. Okay, there is the. Can you see the crackles? I've been trying to find a spot where you guys can actually see them. It's so hard because of the lighting. No, I can't show you the crackles. I'm sorry, but trust me, they're there. <laughs> and then I need to. I'm just placing it down. I need to clean my hands for a second. I got. Somehow I got stuff all over them. Okay. Let's see if this is really, really dry or not. I wish it was like more centered. I, sorry about that. I'm going to try to center this camera a little bit more. It's just not wanting to stay. Oh, there. I think that's better, right? Okay, so now that it's basically dry, basically, when I say basically, it's just I am going to add a little bit of silver onto it. And I use, for the other one, I use um, this gold. No, one second, not that one. I go the gold paint from, sorry, one minute, I'm getting it get to it uh, it was the the gold paint from 13 arts old gold it's called and now I'm using the old silver which is just because we're gonna do a different color scheme of it so it's 13 arts it was designed by old Olga Hedwin and it's Aida paint so again when you want to work with this you want to grab a paintbrush and you want to be very you want to be very soft with the paint. You basically want to like, um, uh, br like a dry brush technique on it. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on the page, on the, on the, my mat, sorry. And you don't want a lot of it. And you want to kind of just smoothly dry. The softer you do it, the better the effect. I mean, you don't want to do it too soft because then you lose the paint. But if you do it, if you do it too hard, it, the, all the paint is going to go on it and you're not going to get the effect. You want to be able to see the cracks. You see I get too much and then I don't like it and then you can see um, then you can see the actual paintbrush marks so I remove it. You want to be able to see the, see the, the, the silver and the cracks but not see the brush marks. And can you see, like it kind of gives it a really nice effect. Hold on. By the way, these were also in one of the flying unicorn kits. And because I, because I used them, I, I made that project for that kit. A lot of people asked me how I made it. And so I thought, oh, what a good idea to make it for this show. Um, I thought people would just like seeing how it was made. And... Um, it just gives it a very faint look, you see? Oops. But it looks so cool. And at the edges I am doing a little bit darker to actually give it some silver on it. As you can see, I'm actually going much stronger on the edges. But as soon as I reach the canvas itself, 
I'm doing it very softly. Start from the outside in and just work yourself in. So if you get too much, by the time you get to the inside, there's very little paint left on the brush and you can get these cracks. I'll show them to you now. You'll be able to really see them. If you can see, oops, that's so hard to show. You, I don't know if you can see the cracks. It's very hard to see in my screen. But And then try to go also in another direction just because you don't want all the paint brushes to go in this, to be in the same, I mean the strokes to be in the same direction. Once I photograph this, it will be much easier to Oh, bye, Monica. <laughs> Monica's boss is not letting her watch. How dare he? <laughs> okay. Just want to do this last side. It's so cool. I love the dry brushing technique. It just looks really good on the page and I want to add some more on the, these edges here so I'm trying to add more silver in the corners and let it be more faint in the middle that's how I like it but you can do it basically any way you want and it just gives it a really good effect Oops. The effect is really cool. Oops, sorry, my dentist is calling me. I'm hanging up. So there is basically the background. Now I'm just going to turn my fan on for a second because I'm really hot. So bear with me. Don't go anywhere. Somehow I forgot to turn it on before. Okay, so we got the back this background done. Let me wipe this off and no so no any brush seriously these i buy brushes at the dollar store because i ruin my brushes if you can see my brush janelle it's all ruined all my brushes get really hard and then i end up incorporating them into my artwork so i buy the cheapest brushes there i just you just have to make sure that it's a bit soft that's all you don't want it to be um you don't want it to be a hard one because then you will you will just get like really lines in your thing you want it to just make sure that it didn't dry up and it's not but a regular brush anything literally anything works okay so it doesn't there's no specialty brush i'm not like an expert in brushes or anything like that so um you don't want something too stiff actually no actually quite opposite you want something soft but you want a flat brush okay kind of a flat brush like for example, okay, this is this one is already it has too much. I've had too much glue. I cannot bend it anymore. Barely bend it. Okay, so what's going to happen is because I can't bend it, I can't stroke it back and forth. So um, it's just really much easier if you if you use like something that is a little bit softer. Make sure that you can actually bend it all around, so that you can, you can go back and forth and not um, have strokes in it. I don't know if I'm making sense, but hopefully that helps what I'm saying. Oh, hi, Joanne. I think she's, oh. I don't know what we're making. Oh, okay, I'll show you, Joanne. But we're making this with the light bulb, but we're making it in a different color. So that's what we're making. Okay, so we're making silver. So the next step is, like, I'm going to get some of the soft matte gel. And... Um, I want to add some beads and some fun things, okay? So, I'm going to use the Soft Matte Gel by Prima. And I'm going to use it very, mainly in the corners to just add um, some beads and things like that. And I'm trying to, there's no rhyme or reason on how I'm doing this, just for fun. Um, it's just I'm trying to kind of create like these droplets going in different directions okay and I don't think I think it didn't matter which side the canvas was going in and hold on no, I don't like it so low I don't want them so low so wipe it off and um, so what I'm trying to do 
it's going to make these corners stand out. Okay. And the way I did that is by adding beads and other fun things. So you can add, there's both Prima and 13 Arts have made these beads. So I have, uh, I'll show you both. So I think I used for this, for my other project, I used 13 Arts golden beads, gold beads, micro beads. These are the silver ones. I'll show them to you. They're really fun. Okay. Oh, oops. Never mind. There, 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 there. Fun. So I can add some of these. Oh, they're already dropping. You know what? No, wait. Before I do this, let me get a tray. I did this mistake last time and I could not go back on it. So let me just get a tray to put this on. <laughs> I'm being smarter today. I don't want it all over. Okay. So I'm going to just basically sprinkle some here and sprinkle some here. Now Prima also has these. They're the silver microbeads. They're almost the same size. Then I'm also using um, these mica flakes. They're natural mica flakes from 13 Arts. Again, I think they're the crystal ones from Prima. Same idea. They're just crystal. They're like just transparent basically and they're really cool. And well, these are really big pieces. I can actually kind of glue them in. Hold on. Oops. And I think it needs a little bit of glue. And for that, hold on. Oh, I'm little. These pieces are so big. I can actually stick them on. <laughs> Okay, can you see that? Is, it, is there enough light there? Uh, oops, all right. Hopefully you can see this part. And let me get these from here, the catch from the catch tray to put them on. And it looks weird because it has all this white on it, but that will dry clear, so don't worry. You know, I'm sure you know this already. And I'm just gonna add these again, oops. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, uh, is this, is there enough light? I feel like there's not enough light. It looks so dark because of the black. Okay. Okay. So the next thing is I'm going to add some cobalt blue glass beads. These are actually Prima because I'm going with the blue theme. I am going to add the cobalt blue. Fun, 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 fun. I love the cobalt blue actually. Somehow it's one of my favorite colors from all the beads that were that I've ordered. And now one of the things I do I like, even though you're using the soft gel, I find that the beads don't always glue properly. So what I started doing now is once once it's dry, which might not be here, I end up adding a layer of soft matte gel on top to kind of hold it all in so that so you don't end up with beads everywhere. Once Okay, I'll show you guys. It's hard to see with the black Okay, so can you guys see? Okay, you see a lot of things are falling now. You really want to be able to, so what I do is I literally go, I don't, I'm even going to do it now because I hate when, when most of these things don't stay on. So I'm adding a really thick layer that will later on not show here. Okay, it just basically dries clear and what it does is that it holds everything together, especially on a flat surface and you have to like kind of add because things are going to move and that's okay. You don't need to have a rhyme and reason anyways while you're putting them on. So it looks really weird now, I know, but at least you're not going to have all the 
all the glitter, all the beads flying around. I really um, don't like it when they're all flying around. It bothers me. <laughs> and you can even add some more there. That looks really weird now, but it will look really nice once you stop, once it dries. Okay, so you see what I'm doing is I'm basically holding it all together. I want to make sure, and I know Sama is going to get lost in the shuffle, but it's going to get lost even if I'm I'm using it, um, how do you call this, even if I'm using it like this, because so many fell off already, and I'm going to go put them back on, I'm not going to waste them. Some beads are going into my gel, and that's okay. And it looks really weird, but at the same time, time you can, you, it will hold together. You won't end up giving this to a family member or like to, or like giving it as a gift to somebody and all it, it's falling apart and all the, all the pieces are kind of falling onto the floor because you don't want beads all over the floor. That will be weird. That will be like not professional and I don't want it to just be like that. Okay. And so I know it looks weird right now, but let's add some more. Now we can actually add this leftover. I should have maybe added even more. I'm just always worried about drying times. That's what the problem is with everything. The drying times are so hard to get. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Some of this here. And I'm going to add a bunch of the global blue because I really like Okay. Okay. So the re now, what I'm going to do, I'm literally going to do it on top of this, just because. Okay, there. That's good. Because we're running out of time. Not running out of time, but. So I'm going to use the cobalt blue color bloom. In this other one, in the orange one, I used. Um, gilded and tangerine color and this one I'm going to use cobalt blue and um, precious stone and maybe some teal so I'm basically just going to I'm going to um, spray this and I'm going to lift it up a little bit just to let the drips go down a little bit look how pretty it looks I mean except for the white stuff that it should be dry and then the same thing I'm going to do on this side Okay, I, st I still have things falling off. Okay, there we go. And then I can use some precious stone, which is um, also has like a blue tinge to it, but it kind of more dark. It's a darker color, and it's really pretty when it's when it dries. It's very shimmery. Okay, so that looks weird on its own. Yes, you can do that. Yes, you could brush them on, but they don't always stay on, Barbara. That's the only thing. Okay, I'm just going to give it a quick, 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 quick dry, which is really not going to dry this at all, just so it doesn't get so sticky right after, um, right after I do this. Okay, hold on. Oh, hi, Kathy. It's not going to dry this at all and I hope you guys come <laughs> later on when I take a picture of this to see this in my blog or on Facebook because right now it looks terrible. I want to try to dry at least I want to try to dry the paint so I could work with the next stage even if it's wet. Okay. Okay, so what I did, okay, now you guys know how I've been doing a lot of light bulb work lately. I we recently changed all these like light bulbs to smart light bulbs. Are they called smart light bulbs? I don't know. You know what I mean? The ones that last like forever and ever. And because we did that, we took a bunch of light bulbs out of our um 
we took a bunch of light bulbs out of, out of our bathrooms and different places so now we have so many um, um, so many light bulbs that I can use in my project so these are actually from my bathroom and if you can see here on my other project Kathy I'm showing it now so you can see if you can see it uh, what's what I use is this light bulb but I also use this plastic thing underneath and I know you guys know my you might know what it is because you might have read or read it read it already on my blog but this is already the second time this has happened to me where the soft matte gel has dried at the bottom of my tub and I don't want to throw it out so I just reuse it so this is one of them that came out of another pot this is just dried matte gel that came from the pot itself and I'm gonna see which one I want to use because I have another one that's a little bit thicker so let me see this one is also kind of part of it it's just a little bit thicker this one came from this from the sides and I still have look if you guys see inside there's still a piece I'm gonna dig out <laughs> that I want to use for something so um, yeah now just wanted to say something about next week we have a we have we're really excited because we have a new designer that is going to be doing sorry I'm not working in my thing that is going to be doing some work um, and that is Terry you see her in our if you see in our in the chat meet Terry I don't know if I'm saying her name right uh, she's also from Finland and um, she'll be doing a show next week so I hope you guys can come and tune in so you guys can see what she makes okay so you see this is the this is the circle I'm going to be using. It's not a perfect circle. The other one was better. I'm going to make um, a hole in the middle of it so I can put the light bulb in it. And I'm going to this, just to be quick, just because I don't want to use the matte gel, even though I could, I'm just going to use some of this Fabri-Tac to glue, to glue it because I don't have time to wait for the matte gel to dry. So that's that. It's a little bit different. It's more texture. Then, oh, I just realized something really important. My craft knife broke, and I don't have a craft knife. I'm gonna have to use scissors for this because I was using I used did a craft craft knife. Oh, I do have another one. Wait, for, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can find my other one. Sorry, guys. Oh. Oh, I do have another craft knife. Never mind. So I don't have to use my scissors. So I'm using um. Oh, I'm glad, Joanne, that you came. Okay, so I'm going to use the scissors to just basically cut, not scissors, sorry, the craft knife to cut an X inside my canvas. And I'm going to stick my light bulb. Here's my nice light bulb. Hi. Um, I'm going to stick it inside. I want to put some glue first. I want to put some glue. You want to put some glue on the light bulb. So it stays in place. In some of my other projects, I've actually like sealed it on the back, but I'll have to do that later. I can't turn this around right now. And it basically just stays in place. I just love adding these. I wanna add some more glue here to the bottom of these. Okay. So it stays. Okay. There we go. So how cool is that? It just makes it a really cool, I don't know. Just basically not to, I don't like wasting stuff. So that's why. Perfect. Now, um, I did get a few embellishments. And since I didn't want to get gold embellishments, I, end up getting, I ended up getting some, um, a, how do you call this? Um, I ended up getting some silver embellishments to use in here. So you'll see them now soon. I'm gonna bring them out. So some Finna Bear stuff. Hmm. And then I'm gonna play around with them just because it's fun to play around with them. Oh, you know what it would have been look really cool if I could have like put this underneath. That would have been neat. Let's see if I can do that. Am I going to make a mess of it? No, because I can't make a big of enough of a hole in there. I wonder if it will just bend in or will I break it? you see this is how it is creating while you do things no I don't think it's gonna work 
So I'm just going to use it. That would have been really neat if I could have put it there. But that means cutting everything. I guess I could cut it, but it's just it's not worth it. Okay, so I already have some of the wet gel still there. So I can easily put that there. There's some wet gel over here. So this can fit there too. I am going to use just, I'm going to cheat a little bit and put some um, fabric tack just because I don't have time for it to, to dry. And instead of today, instead of the bee that I put, a, there was a bee in that I think this is going to look really nice, this, um, this uh, hummingbird, hummingbird. I had this, oh, I could put it backwards. Okay, there we go. Um, let's just hold it all together. And it's just a regular, an old uh, bottle cap that I had. And I need some more embellishments. Some more of these flowers. These are all Finnabear flowers. I mean, any, any, any metal stuff will work. You don't have to worry about that. These are uh, 960315. Um, um, this metal adornment, this hummingbird, I actually got when I was at CHA. It was um, a lady was selling them and she, it was really cool. I like them. Okay, so I'm going to put layer this one on top. Oh no, this one goes here, sorry. Because then I can put some I can put the zipper on top of that one. Okay. So that's that. Can you still guys see? Is it in in the screen still? Wait, I haven't finished yet. And let me see, I want the zippers. Where are those zippers? Okay. So I'm gonna be using this zipper. And let's see which one I want. There's one that says explore. I think that works works out well. This matches also the best. Kind of matches this because it's silverish. And I think it looks nice. And I'm gonna I'm gonna add some this at the bottom so it sticks. Sorry, it still looks white underneath. That's the weird part of it. Can you guys see? It's fine that it's like so dark. And I put it the wrong way. Apologize. You can still play around with this. I love these zippers. I have I've used them for so many years. They're so fun to use. And yeah, so here the this is basically it's a very simple design. I try not to add too much to it. It was more about the mixed media part of it, and then I'll just put a title. But before that before I add anything here, I want to show you what I did to the bulb. I did glue this already. I'm going to glue the bird. Oops. Okay, so there. I glued the bird. And then I'm going to add some... You're going to see, I'm going to add some silver to the actual, first of all, to the actual, um, to this, to the part, to the soft matte gel, I want to add some silver to it. Because you can barely, like, I don't want it to look so whitish. It looks weird. And you want to kind of make a circle around it to make it really pop out. You see the gel is already drying and all the all of them are peeking through. All the beads are peeking through right now. I'm adding some silver to this. Oh, I think, you know what I think I added? I think I added, not this. I think I added um, alcohol inks to this. But I'm kind of mixing it all together. Uh, 
and then I'm going to add some more gel onto it. So hold on. I want to put some gel in the bottle cap here and some gel on top of this, which already got some of. Sorry, let me clean it. So I'm adding some more silver, kind of mixing the silver with the blue. Okay, good. And then I can add some more blue and I can actually paint it and go around whoops and go around it. So the cobalt blue, see how it's more silverish here? And we want to tie it all in together. So we're gonna add the blue here too. And it will all tie in together. The blue with the beads with the silver. Yeah, it's tied all in. And I'm going to spray a little bit. I know it's not dry and it will look all wet, but that's okay. You're all, it's all good. It kind of ties it all in by use putting the blue on the gel. And I do want to add some more gel because I want to add some beads on the actual light bulb and inside here. So I'm going to add gel really thickly inside this bubble thing. Okay, somewhere here. I know it's all wet and some in here too. I want to make sure that it stays. Okay. And then not everywhere, but in some areas you want to add a little bit of it. It just ties it all in together. So now when I add the silver beads, my tray. Hold on. So I don't do this mistake all the time. Oops. Hold on. Sorry guys. I can't grab it. I'm going to add some here too. Everywhere that I kind of added the glue, it will stay on. And I want some of the cobalt ones too. Oh, hi, Yasmin. Hi. <laughs> Oops. I'm just adding a few more of the cobalt. Oh, and I forgot to add them on top here. A lot of them are probably going to fall, but that's okay. Some will stay. I use a, I do lose a lot of beads this way, and that's unfortunate. But what can I do? Okay. Oh, and I want to also you a little add a little bit of a center to these flowers, just because. They kind of have a hole in the middle of them. So I added some gel in the middle of this one, and I added some gel in the middle of this one. The third one, I don't need to do that just because it has a zipper in it. So it stays the, it stays the way it is. And it also ties it all in. It kind of blends it into the background a little bit. Okay, good. The last thing I did, I right know the last thing, is I added one of these. This is, um, from Prima Inville Bombs. This is Junkyard Fine. It's Steampunk Air, it's called. And it's uh, the number is 892-289. No, yeah, 892-289. And um, I'm going to use the silver one just because I think it's nicer. It matches perfectly. Okay. 
and I'm going to use glue for this one because I'm going to um, glue it at the top of my there we go this one goes at the top okay let me just dry stuff a little bit because I can't really see what I'm missing oh I'm missing the word what am I saying okay The last thing I'm adding is the, the title. And unfortunately, I feel bad that you can't see how it's actually going to look. It looks like such a mess on the thing, but, um, but it will look nice and neat when it's dry. I got, I, I didn't have another one of these canvas letters from Prima. They're art canvas letters. So I decided to use, to pick up some of these are uh, Seven Gypsies. They're like these written, um, they're these really cool letters that I thought, hmm, these would look good in the project. So I'm going to get just a word and I think I'm going to add the same thing. I'm going to uh, write art just because I don't want to write, I can't think of another short word that will fit. So let me just look for the, oh, there's the R. And oh look, there's the A, and I'm just looking for the, hold on, just looking for the letters. I should have pre prepared these in advance. Where is the T? There it is. Okay, so I basically have, well, you're looking at it. Um, okay, good. so I'm going to put this and I can tell what the, the shade of the colors, hold on. Okay, there's A, R, and T. I think they look pretty neat here. And I think it's this shade. Okay. Yeah, the print is really nice on this. And again, I'm going to glue with them. I, with this one just because I'm trying to save time. So again, next week, uh, I will be posting the, the project for next week. It's gonna be Terry, who is from Finland, and she is chatting with you guys now. And we're gonna be, she's gonna be doing a layout, a really beautiful layout. So I'm excited that you get it's gonna have a new artist to, for you guys to see. And um, the week after that is also somebody new. A surprise. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet whom. And let me make sure that this is correct. So it looks very different than the other one in terms of colors, but also in terms of textures. I mean, you can never recreate exactly the same one. Things are always gonna always going to be different but we can try and this looks really neat I like that and it's really sticking out so I'm going to try and spray a little bit with the blue kind of blend it into the background a little bit um, oops. yes now it blends into the background you don't want things to can whoa it's really blue you guys see how blue it is i wonder if we should add a little bit of a another color still well i want to maybe add some more silver i think that will make a difference or maybe you should combine it with some other color a little bit of gray maybe or oh, the teal i think the teal from okay this is the teal and Yeah, it's, you see, it gives it a little bit of a different shade. It's just nice to have it a little bit different. So you don't want it all, it's so uniform. Yes, I like it like that. So it kind of gave it a teal kind of color too, along with the, with the cobalt. And when it dries, it's gonna look like really cool. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay, so 
basically this is it. Let me see if I'm missing anything. No, I think I pretty much did it all. Let's just turn I'll show you guys both of them side by side. Hold on. I show you everything side by side so you can see. And Okay. Now that I have space on my actual craft mat. Oh, I can't believe I finished on time. I always think that I'm going to run late, but I never do. Okay, here we go. Now I can show you them to you side by side. I mean, they're very similar, but yet different. Okay, you see? Well, they're pretty similar. <laughs> now that I look at them side by side, they're pretty similar. So, you see the two light bulbs? I use different ones. I think I put more, more stuff on this. Uh, oh, sorry. What teal was it? Um, the teal is a new, one of the new colors from Prima, deep teal, and it is. Uh, sorry that I didn't see the question. The number for that one is five eight zero three two two, and it just gave it a little bit of a more of a greenish tone because the cobalt blue is almost like a royal blue. So the teal. Um, uh, teal basically uh, made it a little bit more greenish in tone just a tiny bit it's like it was a smidge so yeah so I think I used a few more I, I added a few more I want to just do that because I'm comparing now and I want to add a few more I want to do it with my finger a few more of these silver beads here because I think they look kind of nice you see these ones have a little bit you can't see but they have a little bit of a gold so I want to add a few more silver ones here, just to really tie it all in. And, and then I'm done. And then I'm really done. Any other questions? Sorry. I missed that. I wasn't looking. Yes, Joanne, if you do make something, please share. Please tag me so I can see. Um, see what you made it. An industrial... And yeah, it's an industrial uh, kind of room design. That's really cool. Exactly what I think so too. And you can use a, you can use it. Hold on. I'm just answering because my mom was supposed to pick up my daughter from school, but I think I'll make it to pick her up. So this is it. I mean, this I like the elements are different. Uh, the element, uh, the elements are different. However, um, the same, basically the same idea all throughout. Once it dries, you will not see these clump, white clumps anywhere, and it will just look very similar to this one. I mean, it looks pretty similar. I just use a few elements that are different. So let me turn you around, and I just want to say hello to all of you. Thank you. Hi. So I just wanted to thank everyone for coming, and some of you coming every single week and saying hello to us and supporting us. Uh, we're doing this for free just for fun and just to teach and to for people to learn so we really appreciate when you come every single week or whenever you make it and even some of you like sneaking out from your bosses i mean it's just really nice and i we appreciate it very much as i said next week uh stay tuned terry i hope i'm saying your name right terry Co uh, I don't even i'm not gonna say your last name but terry from finland she, you saw her she's gonna be she's on the 13 arts uh, design team and she's gonna be using 13 arts products to show you some some of the amazing stuff she makes. Thank you so much and see you next week. Bye.